Hi friends, it's Miss Cassie from the Orange Beach Public Library here for another stay in story time. We start every story time with a song where we say hello like this. Hello. It's in American Sign Language. Hello. And then we say friends. We have one friend here and another friend here and they give each other a hug. So the song goes like this. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Great job. And then we like to sing our Rolly Polly song. We put our hands in fists like this. And we're going to go around in a circle like this. The song is about opposites. So it goes Rolly Polly, Rolly Polly, up, 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 up. Rolly Rolly Polly, Rolly Rolly Polly, down, 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 down. Very good because the opposite of up is down. That's right. Let's do another one. Rolly Polly, Rolly Polly, out, 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 out. Rolly Rolly Polly, Rolly Rolly Polly, in, 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 in. Very good because the opposite of out is in. Good job. Let's do one more. Rolly Polly, Rolly Polly, fast, 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 fast. Rolly Rolly Polly, Rolly Rolly Polly, slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Great job. Because the opposite of fast is slow. Good job. All right, I have two stories to read today, and they're both about space, kind of. Kind of about space. The first one is by John Ag, and it's called Life on Mars. Look, there's a little astronaut. I don't know what that is. I guess we'll see. Hmm. Let's see what happens in this story. I am on Mars. I have traveled a long way from Earth. I am here to find life. There's this rocket. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Nobody believes there is life on Mars, but I do. And I just know that I'm going to find it. Do you see something poking out? Maybe. So far, Mars looks pretty gloomy. More gloomy than I thought. I'm starting to wonder, could anything possibly live here? I think something might. It's dark. It's cold. I brought this gift of chocolate cupcakes. I don't think I'll find anybody to eat them. But look, look, he's right behind them. He just doesn't see him yet. Wow, I was wrong. Mars is nothing but miles and miles of rocks and dirt. It's obvious. Nothing could possibly live here. We know. What a disaster. Everybody was right. There is no life on Mars. I'm going home immediately. But what did he find? There's his present. Uh-oh, where's my spaceship? I can't believe it, I'm lost, lost on Mars, where there is no life. Wait a minute, what's that? Do you think he's gonna see him? No way, it's life, it's on Mars and it's alive. What is that? A flower. What an amazing discovery. I can't wait to get back to Earth and show everybody what I found. And look, my box of cupcakes. How did it get there? Now I've got to find my spaceship. I bet I'll get a good view from the top of that mountain. Aha, there it is. Is that a mountain? No, it's this guy. What an adventure. I always believed there was life on Mars, and I was right. He found the flower, but he didn't see that guy. And he's off. I think I deserve a treat. He's going to open his box. <gasps> but there's nothing left. Because the other thing got it. 
the end. Thank you to Dial Books for letting us read this one today. It's a good one. All right, let's roll our song cube. Let's see what we're going to sing. Ah, what's that? The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Can you sing that one with me? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Great job. What if instead of an itsy bitsy spider, it was a great big spider like this? The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. Great job. What if instead of a great big spider, it was a teeny tiny baby spider like that? The tiny baby spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the tiny baby spider went up the spout again. Great job. It's fun to sing in silly voices, right? Ooh, what's this one? Zoom, zoom, zoom. So we start with our hands going up and down like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, let's read another story. This one is about the moon. And it's called, Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me. And it's by Eric Carle, one of our favorites. Look, there's a ladder. Do you think that you could make a ladder to get to the moon? I don't know if you could. It's really far away. Let's see what happens in the story. Maybe they know how to do it. Let's see. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and reached for it. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa, said Monica to her father, please get the moon for me. At least she said please. Oh, we gotta open it up. Oh, look at that ladder. Papa got a very long ladder. Wow. And he carried the very long ladder toward a very high mountain. Woo. Oh, and we gotta open it big this way. Ooh, look. Can you see it? There he is, climbing up that ladder. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. Up and up and up he climbed. He's gonna make it. Oh, I gotta open it up big now. This book's seen a lot of love. It's got a lot of tape and stuff on it. Look at that, look how big the moon is. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night I get a little smaller, said the moon. When I am just the right size, you can take me with you. Is that, did you know that? The moon gets smaller every night? And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller, and smaller, then to sliver. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down and down and down he climbed. See? Here, 
said Papa to Monica. I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it in the air, but the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And finally, it disappeared all together. Whoa. Then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. Each night, the moon grew and grew and grew. Look at it. Do you see kind of a face in there? I see some kind of like eyes and kind of a nose and a mouth. Kind of. The end. Thank you to Simon & Schuster. Yep, Simon & Schuster for letting us read this one today. Great job. All right, we are going to sing, or do it, say our little rhyme. Let's see if we can get this fixed. Here we go. Look, there's our board. And I have my fish. There is one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So there are five little fish. I'm right here. Five little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. And along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And he snatched that fish right out of the sea. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Four little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Shark. out of the sea. How many are left? One, two, three. Three little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And he snatched that fish right out of the sea. How many are left? Two, one, two. Two little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Shark, Fish right out of the sea. How many are left? Just one. One little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And he snatched that fish right out of the sea. Great job. How many are left? None. Zero. Great job. Ooh, here we go. Good job. All right, let's sing one more song before we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for coming today. I will see you next time. Bye.